Hello folks, today we're going to install the bearings in the right crankcase half. It'll be quite similar to the previous video I did when I installed the bearings in the opposite side of the crankcase. We'll have one crankshaft bearing here and then we'll have a transmission bearing which will be on the opposite side which will go in here. But uh, other than that, that slight difference, the process will be virtually the same as I used before. That is, I will heat the boss with a hot air gun. I have the bearings on ice and then I will drop each one of them in one at a time. And if they don't fit uh, easily, I'll tap them into place. The right crankcase bearing is the same one that was um, used in the previous video. Uh, both sides of the crank use the same bearing, 6204, I think you can see it right there. And you're going to have two brand new SKF bearings for this. So I'm going to go ahead and take my hot air gun and I'm going to heat this boss. Once again, I'm not going to show that entire process, but I will cut back to this after I have the boss heated and I'm getting ready to drop the bearing into place. Okay, I've got this boss all heated up. And I'll get the bearing out here oriented so the labeling and the nomenclature is facing out. And see if we can't get that to seat. I'm going to switch over to a piece of wood. I think that might work a little easier here. I will check to see if it's seated on the opposite side, right in there, and it is. So that bearing now is done. Now we're going to install the main transmission bearing in the right case. The case has been heated as before, bearing cooled and oriented with nomenclature facing out. It really only took a couple of taps as you'll see here with the wooden block and the mallet to get it to seat, which is how I like them to go together. There might be a tolerancing difference here between the transmission and the crank, I don't know. but. Uh, now we're doing a uh, just a tactical check with my fingers to make sure it feels like it's flush with the case and doing a visual on both sides to make sure that uh, it's where it needs to be. At this point we're about done with this case. Next step will be assembling the lower end cases together. 